Hello students, how are you all? I would like to welcome all dear students to our online class teaching. This is subject Social Studies, 5th standard, B1 and B2. Okay, we are in session 12. We are in session 12. We all remember students in which chapter that we have completed. Yes, we have started the lesson number 6. Lesson number 6. The title of the lesson is, look at the book. The land of dense forest. The land of dense forest. Okay, which land? The Democratic Republic of Congo. Democratic Republic of Congo. This is a particular region that we learned, right? In this lesson, I have already started about, we discussed about location, where the land is located. And then we also learned about how, how the land, what are the facilities of the land, right? The rivers, the longest river, about river and up, we have discussed. And what is the climate of the land? What is the climate of the region? That also we have discussed, right students? Today, in this video, we will mainly concentrate about vegetation of the land. What are the land, uh, trees, plants that grow in the particular region? And then uh, what are the wildlife? Or how is the wildlife over there? And we will also discuss about the lifestyle of the people and economic resources and then transport of the people the main cities and towns of the region shall we get into the lesson i have listed out on the board the very important point in each topic okay first we will know about the vegetation vegetation can you all see the board vegetation when we say about vegetation, what what are the vegetables that vegetables means the plantation. The region is very hot. I told you the region is very hot. So trees and plants they grow very quickly because sunlight is important for the plant to grow. So there is sunlight, enough of sunlight. So plants grow quickly and plants also grow taller. See here I have drew the picture. Uh, trees, trees they grow very taller. When the tree grow very taller, what happened? And the forest, when the tree grow taller, uh, very hard to see the sunlight on top, right? It covers, it covers the top place of the forest because of the tall trees the top place is fully covered so it has the thick forest places and then most of the trees they are tall okay they form a on top it is fully covered with the full um, branches full greeneries so that movement what we call it we call it as a form a dense canopy. Here I have written canopy it means on top the trees are fully covered, right? That much thick forest in this region. That is about vegetation and also the forest remain always green. Always what happens? Always green. The forest remain always green and this particular place, the forest in this region, it is called as evergreen forest. Notice that evergreen forest and the forests are dense so that it is for the people to, if anybody goes into that particular region, in the particular forest, since the trees are thickly uh, planted, it is very tall, fully greenery, it is very 
hard for the people to move from one forest to another place. When they go through the forest, it's very thick and very hard to pass through it. This is all about vegetation. Got it, students? Now, when we say about wildlife, wildlife, wildlife means what? In the forest areas, what are the animals that they are living in the forest? Okay, we will see what are the animals, wildlife. They are rich in wildlife. This region, they are rich in wildlife. Animals like gorillas, uh, chimpanzees, monkeys and also baboons, bonobos. These are the very big animals are found in this forest. Okay, and also... Uh, the lands, there are hippopotamus and then rhinoceros and sometimes elephant also found. All animals are very big animals as I have listed. So animals are also found in this region. That is about wildlife. Wildlife. And not only in the forest, animals doesn't live only in the forest. They also live in the water areas like rivers, lakes. In the rivers and lakes, there are full of crocodiles. You have seen crocodiles, yes? With a long mouth, yes. Crocodiles are there and alligators, fish. This is all about wildlife in this dense forest areas. And they also found in the uh, forest lions, cheetahs, giraffe, buffaloes. They also live in the grassland. In the grassland areas, these are the animals survive over there. Now, if you all remember what are the animals that I have listed out, this is about the wildlife. Now, when we talk about Economic, economic of the people. How people survive without having money? They should have some economic benefit, right? So, for economic, farming. Farming is the main economic in this region. Okay, what they do? Farming means cultivation. They do farming uh, by uh, doing farming. What happens? They earn money. This is useful for their economic purpose. And they also um, grow crops. They also grow crops. Cash crops. Have you ever heard about cash crops? Cash crops. Cash crops means what is this? The plants, if they sell it, it is very expensive. They get money. So they are called cash crops. Crops. They are like coffee and then maize and then cocoa and they are soap, tobacco, cotton, rubber. These are the then oil palm plants. They grow and they sell it. Out of this they get money and they use it for their daily expense. This is how their economic level is being used. They have developed. This cash crops, they not only sell within the places, they also export. They also export to other countries for saving. Remember the plants that I have told you. What are the cash uh, crops? And the land is also, the land, the people also take care of the animals. Taking care of the animals. That is one kind of work for them. And this land is full of minerals, rich in minerals. Minerals like gold, manganese, diamond, Silver, zinc, bauxite, coal, iron, iron ore, then uh, uranium, 
tin these are very expensive minerals are found in this region okay they are rich in minerals okay this is all about the um, this is all about economic resources what are the resources that they use for economic mainly what i told they use cultivation agriculture and they take care of the animals leaves to rearing animals they take care of the animals and they also grow cash crops and the land is rich in minerals as i listed out now let's talk about life of the people how the people live over there shall we see look at the board very short i have explained life of the people life of the people how people live over there the country is thinly populated can you all see the life of the people they are thinly populated thinly populated means what students uh, the population is very less not more and the people are scattered they are scattered to different villages okay some people migrated to towns uh, for their work and uh, there are in the towns there are factories and mines so people mostly scattered to other villages and towns people are thinly populated very less population and then what are the food that people take in cassava a root crop then is the stable food of the people this is the stable food of the people and it is dried and populated into flour uh, sorry uh, flour this particular plant cassava the root crop it is made into flour flour okay and it is dried into made in, into flour this flour is used to make bread they eat more bread by using this flour okay and the group of people mainly the people name is called people name is called bantu people bantu people they are uh, constitute this are the majority this is the major majority of the people this is the majority of the people group of people shall we all say along with me bantu people bantu people they are the majority uh, in the region and this particular people bantu group of people they are very tall and they have curly hair they have what curly hair even many of your parents are tall and some of us have curly hairs right yes and their language they they use bantu language they use the language called bantu and this people follow traditional lifestyle traditional lifestyle they hear music they enjoy music dance on the special occasions um, they wear colored dresses if they have any program any special occasions they enjoy uh, hearing music and uh, they wear colorful dresses how we all celebrate for any festival comes like christmas new year pongal deepavali or any uh, eid bakrid you all wear new dress right likewise this particular region people they wear new dress for any uh, occasional purpose this are the lifestyle of the people how they live i told the food that they take is cassava the from one root they take they grind it dry it grind it and they make it as a bread and eat that bread is a main food for this particular people okay and what i told they are very tall they have curly hairs 
and bantu people bantu people are tall and they have curly hair their language is called um, bantu and they also hear music dance they also have festivals like how we also have and celebrate and there is another group of people pygmies pygmies they are the original inhabitant they are the original inhabitant of this country and they are also known as bambuti they call us bambuti some they say buti imbuti okay this is our given in your book itself okay students and this particular uh, um, pygmies people they are very short they are less than 150 cm tall they are 150 cm tall i am writing here 150 centimeter tall they are 150 centimeter tall can you see that i have written okay this is which group of people uh, pygmies people and the europeans who ruled the country in the past uh, european people have ruled this country this uh, pygmies they have started to stay in the forest and uh, in the forest if they live what will happen they will be hunting animals plants and they will eat right this is how their life has started some of the few pygmies people they still remain in the same land some of them already gone into the forest areas to survive okay they live in the hut have you seen hut hut is like this some of them they live in the hut places and they keep moving on uh, searching for food they still lead the primitive life primitive life means the olden days life they still practice do you want to see the people how they are looking like see the picture of the people they are like they are africans see how they look yes some of the places in africa they really developed some of the places are still they yet to develop this is about the lifestyle of the people now i'll tell you transport and main cities transport see i have written here transport have you seen transport for transport it is very difficult for the people to travel why because people uh, their land is full mountain and uh, fully thick forest they cannot use bus or they cannot use car bike or they cannot use even train railway roadway is very hard to use for transport but transport they use um, water transport is very available they are mostly used with water transport water transport means what water transport they use boat ships these are the things they use in the water to move from one place to another place not only water transport they also use air transport air transport means which flies on the air aeroplane helicopter right they use aeroplane to uh, fly from one place to another place from one city to another city from one country to another country air transport is more available and there are there are 200 do you see i have written there Two hundred. There are two hundred. More than two hundred airports are there. More than two hundred airports are there. There are more than two hundred airports are there. And uh, the cities. When we say about the main cities, people are more about thirty percent. About. 
thirty percent of the total population they live in towns and cities. And what about other seventy percent of the people? They live in other villages, other places. In cities and towns, there are thirty percent of the people they survive. Okay, the main capital city is called Kinshasa. Kinshasa, that is the main capital city of the land. This land is very important where the commercial work is taking place. In the, this is the industrial center. Like for us uh, in India, Mumbai, Delhi, Chennai, Calcutta, this all the what main important cities, right? Likewise, for them, this particular place they have as an industrial and commercial center in this land, and the land. Lub, uh, lub. The land is called Lubumbashi. Lubumbashi, that is, they are very main particular city. They are rich in minerals. This land is rich in minerals. And other cities are there. They are called Kananga, Kana, Kananga, and uh, some other places also. Here it is mentioned. Kisangani, uh, Likasi, Likasi, Kikwit, Machadi. These are the more uh, is a port city. Port city means where they find the transport. The main uh, export is taking place. The country is now still developing very fast. Money earned from export is being Used to improve the infrastructure. The infrastructure means mm, the growth of the city. They have to bring up the city in the high highway. They want to bring up their uh, level, level of the city in the like a rich place. So infrastructure, the money that they earn mostly used for. Infrastructure, the improvement of the country. Okay, students, this is all about today's lesson. I will revise again. This is lesson number uh, six. The title is the land of dense forest. We discuss about how people live over there. What are the plants that they grow? The wildlife. What are the animals they live there? And what is the purpose of economic that they are, they are using? And I will also told you about transport and main cities, right? Okay, this is all about today's class, and we are finishing lesson number six. And thank you for watching. Have a nice day, students.